Hi, I'm Dr. Rachel Tate coming to you live from Rheumatology Winter Clinical Symposium in beautiful Maui, Hawaii. And today I have the pleasure of reporting for Room Now and also my good friend Christine Lee, who's here presenting her poster from Stanford University. Christine, tell me, tell me a little bit about your poster and what brought you to Rheumatology Winter Clinical Symposium 2017. So, um, I had heard about RWCS from a previous fellow that had come before and he had told me how high yield it was. So I knew this was definitely something I wanted to go to and I missed ACR this year so <laughs> I was the lucky fellow that got to come. And in terms of picking cases, um, we do grand rounds every week at Stanford and they're usually pretty good and this was actually a case that one of the first year fellows saw that I thought was really interesting. So I, you know, helped her, I asked her can I use your case and then we we worked on it together so yeah and here it is so uh, my case is uh, dermatomyositis associated vasculopathy and um, what's interesting about this is uh, typically we know GI manifestations are more common in G JDM, J uh, juvenile de dermatomyositis. Um, sometimes it can occur in adults. I had a case last year of vasculitis, GI vasculitis, but this was very, our pathologists were very certain that this was a vasculopathy rather than a vasculitis, and that's much more rare, and in JDM also it's pretty rare. Um, when we were looking through cases, there was one described at Yale that was repeated a few times and we think that might be the one or two cases that have been out there. Maybe people aren't reporting it. Um, but it is very interesting. We looked at the slides with the pathologists and um, you can see over here that uh, there's it's an endarteropathy. Uh, there are veins with occlusion and recanalization rather than any lymphocytes that you typically see with vasculitis. So I thought it'd be interesting to share. <laughs> so, Christine, thank you so much. Dr. Lee, I appreciate you showing us potentially something different that we might see in dermatomyositis. So, thank you. Oh, no Aloha. <laughs>